Hey guys, so I just made this video on debunking the supposed rapture passage in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 through 18. And uh, right after it, I started getting some ideas and, and looking into stuff, and um, I was thinking maybe I didn't hit it good enough on this phrase, God will bring with, okay, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with will God bring with him? And I said that that means that God will raise them from the dead just like he raised Jesus from the dead. And we need to not get caught up on phrases like bring with. Like I said, pe people like Stephen Anderson, even me before, we think that, you know, bring with means that God will bring the dead saints with him at the rapture or he'll bring them with him uh, at the second coming, like at his side. But uh, what it means is that he's going to bring them from the grave, okay? They will be raised like Jesus was, and this happens at the moment of death. But I also, uh, so whenever I get stuck on a phrase or something, we, we don't need to get stuck on phrases or words. Uh, we need to understand, you know, the King James Bible, the English might not be how we think of it today. And there's a lot of things to take into account, you know, could it be figurative and everything else too. But when we're looking at phrases or words, we should look up like phrases that are like or words that are similar or the exact phrase or the exact word in the Bible. See if it's used elsewhere and see if it'll help us to get a better understanding. So I looked up the word brought because it's like bring, you know, bring, brought, B-R-O-U-G-H-T. And I wondered, is there any verses where it talks about, you know, God brought Jesus from the dead? So we can see that comparison, and there actually is. There's most, there's mainly one, but it's a pretty good one, I think. It's Hebrews 13:20. It says, "Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great Shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting com covenant." So he brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus. Okay, brought him, brought him from the dead. Doesn't mean that God's, you know, bringing him with him at the second coming. <laughs> Brought him from the dead. And that's the same context that we get in 1 Thessalonians 4. And also there was something interesting with bring, too. Um, I didn't write down where it was, so I'm not quite sure. But it might be... Well... There's Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. It says, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So this is not talking about bringing them to a location or something. It's talking about raising them, raising them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So I think that's the same, you know, way that we see bring in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God raise with him. Raise. Okay? Just like this, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Raise them up. God will God raise with him. With Jesus. Just like Jesus was raised, all those who believe in him will be raised at the last day. Okay? the last day of their life. So, I hope that'll help you a little more. Sorry I didn't get that the video. I'm going to add that on the forum here, kjvforum.com. In the Bible study section, I have a bunch of different studies going, and I have the supposed rapture passages, and this is the study that I went over. I'm going to add these verses to it to help explain even more. And uh, you can come here and comment, or whatever. And sorry for the audio on the other video. I think it didn't really match with the video well, but I just wanted to get it out there. I didn't want to redo it at this point, but in the future I will try to do a better presentation of that. So I'm just lucky that the audio got recorded at all. Sometimes that happens and there's no audio. But anyways, I hope this helps a little more. God bless.